Hello America. Um, I generally don't quite know what to say to you because yet again somebody has walked into one of your schools and massacred children and once again the argument boils up about gun rights and mental health and once again your elected leaders will do fuck all because as long as the NRA NRA sorry as long as the National Rifle Association fill their pockets they will do nothing now I live in the UK and the UK literally has very 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 strict gun control and gun laws and as a result we don't have mass shootings we don't have drive-by shootings we don't have people getting fired and then walking into work the next day and shooting dead people shooting dead loads of people here's, here's an interesting uh, an interesting fact uh, America for from the UK we have had one one school shooting that school shooting happened on the 13th of March 1996 now I would have been seven when that happened and it's known as the Dunblane massacre it happened in a primary school in Scotland the weapons used was a 9mm Browning HP pistol and a Smith & Western M19357 Magnum revolver. Uh, 18 people were killed, 15 were injured. Obviously, a lot of the victims were children, some as young as 6 or 7. But that is the only school shooting this country has ever seen. And... It had huge impacts and, you know, gun laws were tightened even harder. And ultimately, since then, almost 20 years later, we've never had a school shooting. In fact, 20 years before that school shooting, we'd never had a school shooting. It's the only school shooting to ever happen in this country. And when you look at the list... Of school shootings in America, you have school shootings almost on a daily basis. Yes, you don't have the absolute awful school shooting on the level that happened just yesterday in Texas at the Rob Elementary School, where I believe a total of 22 people were killed, plus 15 injured. At least, I believe, 19 of them were children. But I look at this list here of school shootings. You you literally have a shooting at a school or a college or a university almost weekly. So almost once a week, almost, for every week throughout the year, there is at least one shooting at a school a university or a college where somebody is injured or killed and then at some point that goes from being an injury or a single death to over 20 people massacred by a madman who clearly was not mentally well and i don't understand it in fact pretty much everybody in the UK doesn't understand it that the lives of your children and the lives of everyday people don't appear to be important and aren't worth protecting next to the precious second amendment now I, I will never understand the concepts of it in fact I think most people in the world don't understand the concepts of the second amendment you live in a modern age where this whole concept of needing to have guns and having a militia, it isn't needed anymore. You have a military, 
you have a police force. You don't need to own a gun to protect yourself because that's what the military and the police force are for. And then you have these really weird people who say, oh, we need to have guns so if the, if the government turns against us and goes all dictatorial and turns into a dictatorship, we can protect ourselves from a tyrannical government. That makes no sense. If the government, if, if the American government, or any government for that matter, in a developed world with a modern military, just decided one day we're going to take control, we're just going to go to force our will on people militarily, it wouldn't matter if you had a dozen assault rifles in your house. You're talking about a modern military with access to high altitude bombers and GPS guided rockets and armoured vehicles, you wouldn't stand a chance. So it's a load of crap when you when you when some people use that argument that it's to protect yourselves from a, a government takeover. Here's what you need to ask yourselves. How many more children have to die? How many more children have to go to school where there are armed guards and metal detectors? Because, you know, someone might bring a gun into that school and start shooting. How long will it take for not just your government, but for you, the people, to get your act together and to actually start doing something? How many more lives? You know, will you wait till the next school shooting? And then the next school shooting? And the next school shooting? Because that's what you're doing. You're just sleepwalking. On one side, you've got, a, you've got a government which largely doesn't care. And out of the ones that do care, they're blocked by groups like the NRA and in-the-pocket Republicans. I mean, whether or not there's any Democrats that are, that are in the NRA pocket, I don't know. I don't understand American politics. But what I do know is that on one side, you've got politicians who have no interest in doing anything about keeping children safe and on the other hand you've got everyday citizens who don't have any interest in keeping children safe and that's all because there's this weird notion that we must keep the second amendment we must keep the gun why why is it so important 19 children are dead 19 families are now grieving because they've lost their children and their government isn't going to do anything their government is is going to spend the next week or two or maybe the next month if they're lucky discussing it and you know they'll throw around ideas from arming teachers i mean who would you want to send your, your child to a school knowing the teacher teaching them has a gun in their in their desk drawer or has a gun on a holster on their belt you wouldn't want that you wouldn't want to send a child to school knowing that there's a potential threat that there's a gun in the classroom that anybody could potentially get hold of you know why why would you want to send your child to school with a bulletproof backpack why would you want to send your child to school Knowing they're going to have to do active shooter drills and be taught what to do if a madman walks into the school and just starts shooting. I generally don't know how many more lives you have to lose, America. How many more children you have to lose. How many more sons and daughters. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, you know... There's nothing I can say or do because I'm in a country where we don't have to worry about a madman walking into a school and shooting dead 19 children because it just does not happen in this country. And it doesn't happen in pretty much the rest of the entire planet. You know, it's incredibly rare that anything like that happens in Europe. And it feels like the rest of the world has moved on greatly, whereas you, America, are still sitting in the Stone Ages and, uh, and just don't want to change. So, 
So I, I ask you, America, I ask you, the citizens of America, the government of America, the people of America, what, what, what do you say matters most? The right to own a weapon of war or the right for children to go to school and be safe? Because the sad thing is, and the ultimate truth of all this is, this will be another school shooting. And by probably the end of next week, you'll all have moved on. The parents won't. The parents won't have moved on. They'll still be grieving. They'll still be trying to cope. They'll no doubt still be going through the legal stuff with the police about what happened, why did it happen, why was it allowed to happen. But politicians will have moved on. The public will probably have moved on, you know, and in some cases, certain insane people who I don't think are really insane, but are just very, very nasty people, like Alex Jones of Infowars. Well, in the past, such people have gone out and said that mass shootings never happened, that the, the dead children never existed, or they're all crisis actors. And it's all part of some plot to end our end the second right a second amendment to take away the guns. The evidence doesn't support that theory because every time there's a mass shooting in your schools, and nine times out of ten it's an AR-15 that's used, AR-15 sales normally go up. So if gun sales go up, are they going up because people are thinking, oh shit, I better buy this gun before they ban it because I need to own it? Or, oh shit, I need to buy a gun because a madman might come and try and kill my family. You dig yourself into a hole, America. Deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And there's no way out. Because none of you, either government or non-government, are really willing to do anything. Because there's too much division. You need to connect, right? You need to get rid of the division... And you need to say to yourselves, to your government, to your friends, to your neighbours, to everybody. Do we want to keep seeing our children being shot and killed at school? Do we want to see people walking into places of work and shooting the boss because he just got fired? You know? Or do we want to know that our children can go to school and never ever have to worry about being shot? Do we want to know that a man isn't a man or a woman isn't going to walk into the place of work and shoot loads of people? You need to wake up, America. You all need to wake up. And no, I don't think anybody in this world outside of America understands your odd, uh, your crazy obsession with guns. It's two thousand twenty-two, and. You still cling to an amendment that was written in the 1700s to, to give to basically give people the right to defend their land, but you now but it's now expanded into people buying assault weapons and body armor and practically arming themselves to the teeth. It's resulted in people forming little militias. And then waltzing around the streets wearing body armour and carrying assault rifles like they're trying to prove something. It results in generations of children being killed. And again, as a, as a British citizen, it makes no sense to me. It's not something that I can compute in here. Because like I said, it doesn't happen. You know, in my living memory, there's been one school shooting... That was absolutely devastating. That was tragic. That killed 18 plus people. Many of them children. And there hasn't been one since then. Because as I said. you know, We, we really tightened the gun laws after that. They were pretty tight before that. But they were even tighter after that. And I think the whole world. Wants to know America. Why don't you do anything? Why do you. Why do you sit back and just, you know, go on Twitter and type thoughts and prayers? Or discuss it on Twitter for a couple of days or a week or two? 
Why don't your politicians stand up for the dead? Why don't they all stand up and say no more dead children? No more school shootings? You know? Because in many ways it says a lot about your government's character and hell, even your own character of everyday people that you are willing to keep sleepwalking through it all. You know, it's just insane looking at this list on Wikipedia of school shootings in the United States and, and it's just insane. I mean, a lot of what I'm looking at, I'll admit, it's not death. I mean, most of the time it's injuries. But you just look at this, there's almost one there's almost one every week, sometimes two a week. And I I generally am baffled by it. So America, I, a message from the world, wake up. How long are you going to keep sleepwalking? How long are you just going to brush off? murdered children in your own schools because you for some reason allow groups like the NRA to fill your leaders pockets to stop to stop any good legislation happening why are there so many people who don't who don't seem to really care about these tragedies and it's just a case of more guns, more guns, guns will fix all this, and, and they won't. So, ultimately, America, it's down to you. You have the decision to make. Do you want to keep sleepwalking until the next mass shooting happens? Whether it be in a school, at a workplace, or just in the street? Or... Do you want to do something about it? That's all you can do. You can do something about it, or you can just sleepwalk through it. That's all I can say, America. Because it can't keep on like that. I think eventually, if there's the next time there's a school shooting, and the next time there's a school shooting. Eventually, people are going to crack. And people can only cope with so much. A government's job is to look after the people of its country. To make sure that they're clothed and fed and looked after. That should be a government's primary prerogative. And when a government... When government elected leaders can almost sleepwalk through a mass school shooting, because you know I've watched some of the interviews of some of some of your elected people, and a lot of them seem almost zombie-like. They generally don't seem to care. And as I said, they'll they'll just say, "Oh, more guns in schools that will fix the problem." It what? So America, all I can say is the choice is yours. You have to make the choice. Are your children's lives really worth your pride? Because ultimately, this is what it is. It's pride. Too many people want to cling on to the Second Amendment. Too many people want to cling on to the guns. It doesn't matter how many people die. It doesn't matter when there's another school shooting or another mass shooting somewhere. There's just too many people in, in, in your country who are desperate to hold on to their guns. So I'll leave it with you, America. It is 100% your choice. In one hand, you have common sense, 
you have respect and you have lives saved you have the lives of your children and they're saved on the other hand you have all your pride your arrogance and the lives of your children not saved that's your choices you can choose to keep your children alive you can choose to end school shootings you can choose to end mass shootings forever or you can continue to sleepwalk through it all and nothing will change and then in six months time a year's time whenever it happens next there'll be 20 more parents grieving and burying their children because a madman was was allowed to just walk by a gun and walk into a school and shoot dead loads of children make a choice america i have nothing left to say